up since seven just kind of doing random things but as you know from the title of the video we are grinding today it's actually the week before thanksgiving but i always say that the week before thanksgiving is my finals week i'm audrey if you're new here i go to the university of texas i am a senior and i am a corporate communications major in a media and entertainment industries minor and what i've noticed <laughs> In my major and a lot of my communications classes I don't really have tests I actually do have like two more tests it's a lot of essays and projects and those are always due the week before Thanksgiving because they need like way more time to uh, grade them on one hand it's so nice because I'm done literally basically before the last class day like I barely have anything but I'm like so stressed this week before Thanksgiving now I know to plan that this is like basically my finals week but in the past it was like why it's the week before break um no so <laughs> today is tuesday my one class actually got canceled so i'm using this as if it was like a sunday right before finals week like i am going to work all day i have two major things that i'm working on both are due friday one is an eight page like text analysis i had to do an interview and interview someone who like lies on a daily basis for my lying and deception class so i'm taking that interview and writing an eight page analysis on it i am planning on finishing that today i just want to get it over with and then i need to start planning for another 10 page essay do on Friday it's for my conflict resolution class about like an interpersonal conflict I've had and so I haven't really done like any prep for that so I really need to figure out what conflict I'm doing and then all the like terms and stuff that I'm gonna put in I already had like basically a midterm paper for this class for that one and I did really good on the first one but it took me so long to prep for it still on like the right track but I really need to like write I do best when I like write everything down anyways you'll see my whole like process today but yeah those are the two main things and then i also have just some work i have to do like social media stuff so i'm basically gonna be in front of a computer all day and y'all are gonna join me and i'm gonna share some of my favorite study tips how to write an essay <laughs> i'm kidding finals week is always a grind but i know i'm gonna feel so much better when it's done by the end of today and the end of this video i will have that one eight page paper done I'm just putting it out there. As you can see, it's so sunny and pretty out. And it's been gloomy in Austin for the longest time. Again, a perfect day to stay inside and work. As much as I love just being in my PJs and a sweatshirt, I'm going to change into just still comfy, but just a slightly more like a product, I'm being productive outfit. Put some jewelry on just to force myself to get in the mindset of we have to think today and be productive so yeah and i'm waiting for my coffee to cool down before i put ice in it these are like the fuzziest things ever
Okay, hey, I'm at my desk because I want to talk about the sponsor of this video, Rev.com, which I use as a little study hack that I feel like a lot of people don't think about. I definitely didn't think about it, so I actually have used Rev.com for my internship. We used it to put closed captions on our videos. So when they reached out to me and showed me their new AI feature, I was super excited. Basically, Rev.com does a bunch of transcription services, but this AI feature is new. They can give you a summary of the transcript. How it works is you put in either a link to the public video or a file that you have, and it's also super secure. So for one of my classes, I had to watch this documentary that was on YouTube and I watched it but I feel like I didn't want to take notes and I just didn't like retain it that much so I put in that link and I put it in an order so your first order up to 45 minutes is free so my total ended up being like two dollars because the video was about an hour i submitted the order at 10 12 a.m this morning and i got the transcript at 10 24 so literally took 12 minutes okay so now that i have the transcript one it's just way easier to like skim through instead of watching the video and just finding what parts of the video that i would need to cite for my paper and stuff like that and then the ai feature is what's really helpful it can give a summary of it and then you can also ask it questions so i asked for it to give me a short summary and then I also asked what are the key takeaways and they gave me all the main facts but basically now I can go in and take notes based off the transcript and it's really going to help me study and then like I said this isn't just for students I used it in my internship so even after I graduate I feel like it's a great resource to have I know a lot of companies use it to transcribe their recorded meetings closed captioning and stuff like that so it's a really cool resource y'all should definitely check it out especially because your first order up to 45 minutes is free and so if you have a really long lecture that you are struggling to get through looking at the transcript of it might help a lot thanks again to rev.com for sponsoring this video and helping me get through my finals week that isn't technically the finals week <laughs> On a little study break walk I have to go pick up my prescription and I've been like putting it off so long and so I'm just taking a little quick walk enjoying the fresh air before I go sit back on my computer for a bit my goal is to finish like everything but the like big bulk of my paper like the analysis like I'm gonna set up the analysis I want to do that before 12 p.m. but this is just gonna be like a quick 15 minute break. I'm also dying to vacuum, but my roommates were sleeping. Vacuuming like is one of my favorite things and it totally de-stresses me and it makes me feel so good. So I'm gonna go pick up my prescription, vacuum, be a little productive and then get back to the actual productive stuff I need to be doing. switch location soon and leave my apartment and go well still in my building but go to like the study areas downstairs but first I'm gonna make breakfast because I need some brain power classic eggs and toast some mornings I slurp this down and other mornings it takes me a while I usually um I don't love breakfast, like I love making eggs and stuff, but usually in the morning I cannot eat food, like I just feel nauseous in the morning. Um, so usually like I've been awake for two and a half hours and so this is the time where I'm like, okay, I can eat. I'm so tired. So I have to get out of my apartment so I don't like go into my bed and sleep.
with the spatulas. Oh my gosh, I put it back in. <laughs> this is my favorite plate to eat eggs on because it's a little rounded. Got it. I want to say Ikea. We used to have two, but now there's only one, so I don't know what happened. <laughs> Delish. Okay, I'm gonna sit and eat this and do some social media work. Uh, I gotta post a video, stories, all that jazz. So. Mm -hmm. just the analysis part and I found all of my citations so now I literally just have to sit and write and analyze and I'm really excited it's almost three o'clock and I'm so close to just going upstairs and not doing this but I'm like really close to finishing this essay so I mean 900 words away it's kind of a lot but I'm about to literally just force myself to keep typing until it's done because I think that's the best way to do so. I decided that after I finish this, I'm taking a long hot shower because my hair is so greasy. So that's the update. Watch me type away. I needed to use. I don't know if it's 900 words, so we're about to check. Because if not, I'm gonna have to go in, but I don't know like how far I am. Oops, I just deleted it. Okay. Okay. I'm at 771 words, which isn't bad, but I am 130 off. So I'm gonna read through it and try to add another paragraph, and that should be good enough. I could go through and just try to add like sentences, but chunk of paragraph should be good <sighs> i'm so close to being good i actually just grinded that out like it's 340 so i can stay and do one more paragraph okay i just added 70 words like that so halfway So, 
I should have to have like one more sentence. It is 4.08 and I just finished my paper. It feels so good and I'm actually the worst at like re-reading <laughs> my paper and editing so I'm just gonna turn it in. I honestly kind of did it when I had to add um, words and I just wanted to get it over with. It's not due till Friday, I'm so proud of myself. Like I don't have a whole other essay I need to be doing but. No one's home. I wanted to tell my friends that I finished one of my essays. Um, but I guess I'll keep the news just between us two. I like feel really good, but I have to like check myself because I that's only one essay and it was the easier one and I still have the 10 page one. But the good thing about this one is it's done. <laughs> And the other one, I have more days to just focus on that. And that's like actually all I have to do this week. So it feels good. And I hope you feel inspired because I just wrote that in a day. And honestly, just sitting there full on typing for an hour, I finished 900 words. It is 4.15. I'm going to chill for a sec, maybe even take a nap. We're just like lay in my bed tonight me and my roommates are watching dancing with the stars starting at seven figure out what i want for dinner because i should eat here but now i'm just feeling so like i deserve a reward i also am gonna shower at some point probably right before dancing with the stars actually i am gonna shower right now gonna light a candle and just listen to some music i'm so excited i'm like really being extreme again i still have a whole other essay but i just turned in i like it's the balance of celebrating what i just did but then also like being realistic and i just have so much else to do but yeah i'm gonna shower because i feel like i've been sitting inside all day and i just feel gross doesn't get much better than this <laughs> I just texted me, want to get a few snacks and wine for Dancing with the Stars tonight. Again, fully celebrating. I just spent 20 minutes laying on my floor listening to spa music and taking deep breaths. <laughs> I think before I got in the shower, I was like super amped up from finishing that and then like the stress and the fact that I've been focusing all day really kicked in. So, I think it's good that Klein and I are going to Trader Joe's and I can just get out of the house. And yeah, so, let's go to Trader Joe's. Trader Joe's haul, I forgot to film while we were there. And we got a lot of little snacky snacks. One I got is Caesar salad that I'm gonna make right now. This Sauvignon Blanc seaweed crisp seaweed snack. I just needed those. Okay, then for our little charcuterie board night, we got the unexpected cheddar, buffalo style chicken dip, pimento cheese dip, blueberry goat cheese. So good. Doesn't I don't like this. goat cheese at all, but this is really good. And then these are my favorite Trader Joe's crackers. They're very underrated. Savory thin oat crackers. And then I also got the cracker assortment. So we're gonna have a lot of variety. And then we just couldn't resist, even though we have peppermint jojos and these milk chocolate covered mini pretzels our apartment right now we got this jingle jangle that it's not from so riverdale wait i was gonna say it's from l i think it's like drugs in riverdale I think it's a code word for drugs but in real life oh really like you got the jingle jangle is it actually we're like so innocent we don't even know what the code words jingle of jingle drugs jingle. are jingle. anyways oh yeah it is jingle jangle drug i think that's just confusing wait jingle jingle is from riverdale it says look Riverdale's Jingle Jangle. Oh, and nine other fictional, yeah. Large pretzel twist covered in peanut butter candy coating, topped with candy coated dark chocolate gems in JoJo's Cookie Bites. Should we try that? Yeah. It's giving um, like dirt worms in a cup. Oh. I wasn't expecting them to be this large. It's like a cookie. You know what I'm talking about? Dirt worms in a cup? Yes. And Oreo mixed with like, yes, like with pudding. Yeah, and I know it doesn't look like that, but it kind of does, you know? They're huge though. Mmm. I don't love stuff with peanut butter. Like, I know you love, like, mm -hmm. I like peanut butter by itself, but this is a really good combo. 
I like the little M&M. It's delish. Worth it. I, I wish they were smaller though. What does it taste like? They're really good. It tastes like the something. peanut butter is like very specific to something. Mm -hmm. But not Reese's. Mm -mm. Shoot. What is it? Reese's Pieces? Yeah. It's like the Reese's Pieces mm -hmm. peanut butter flavor. Mm -hmm. I'm just doing this. Look at us. We're just too smart. <laughs> Okay guys, I am about to hop in bed. It's actually pretty late. It's 11, which I haven't stayed up this late in a while. But me and my friends were watching Dates with the Stars and then we were just talking. And I definitely could have been way more productive today. Just like after I finished my essay, I still have a lot of schoolwork and other work to do. But at the same time, I think that it was good to hang out with my roommates and it's my senior year. And so there's only so many more like moments that we'll have together. So with that being said, like it's all about balance in college. At the end of the day, your grades don't define you and you sometimes need to prioritize your mental health first. So I just wanted to remind y'all to take care of yourselves, especially during this finals week and just in school in general. Again, like your grades do not define you. And in six months, in a year, in five years, in 10 years, you will not be thinking about your one bad grade on an essay or a stressful test or a bad grade in a class. So take care of yourselves and be nice to yourselves. Your brain will work better if you take a break and go talk to the people you love and hang out with them and laugh with them. So that's what I did tonight. And I just have to remember that tomorrow I am not done and I need to keep working and get the momentum like I had this morning. But thank y'all so much for watching. I love taking y'all along my little college life. Go follow me on Instagram and good luck on all of y'all's finals and finishing the semester and the year off strong. Love y'all. See y'all in my next video. Bye.